In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create simple and clean backgrounds for your animations. You can download this project file in the description down below, making a new tutorial for each day of the year, day 72 of 365. So here I already have this animation and I want to make a background for this. So I'm gonna show you some of the backgrounds I create for my animations. Starting by the simpler one, make a new solid layer with Ctrl Y. Let's call this vignettes background. Select the color of the background you want. Hit OK, Up this to the bottom. And now, as you can see in the name, we are going to create a vignette for this background. You have to add the effect CC vignettes, and this is the easiest one. You can configure the background by moving these properties, and you leave it as you like. And also, you can change the color of the solid layer by pressing Ctrl Shift Y. And here you can choose another color. So this is the first background idea. Now let's go with the second one. So also create a solid layer. Let's call this grid. So we are going to add the effect grid to this solid layer. And you can see here the grid. To have squares, you have to change here the corner point to width slider. And now you can increase or decrease this as you want. I recommend you something like 100 or a little more like this. And to use the same color as your solid layer, you have to change the blending mode to normal. And now you can see your solid layer there. Let's change this color and let's make this, I don't know, white. And to change the color of the squares, the lines, change the color here. And I recommend you to be the same color but a little darker, like this. You can increase the width of the lines by increasing here the border. You can also increase this by a lot make this darker and here you have another background idea i also make a cc vignettes add a cc vignettes and this will make it have a better look so there you have another idea and i make a duplicate to have both this with the border really thick and other with the border really thin like this for this grid i also usually add a fashion blur so the lines are not so sharp and check this box and increase the this to something like five or around that number and there you have it and now let's go with the final background idea this last background i use that background really often so you have to go here to the shape tools and select the rectangle tool make sure nothing is selected here double click this tool and it will create a rectangle the same size of your composition let's move this down here and let's call this gradient so this is the gradient background so you have to press here in the field work and here you have to select the radial gradient hit ok and you will see these two handles if you don't see that two handles is because you are not selecting the gradient so here inside the gradient layer select the rectangle and you will already see these these points so now you just have to set this whatever you want it could be in the middle or i usually make this like here in the top or in the bottom and click here and here you can change the colors of the gradient so here you can select a i'm gonna select a purple like this and here instead of black select a really dark the same color or other color but really dark like this or you can even change the tone like more bluish or more red and also you can change here the the midpoint it will make this smoother darker or brighter but sharper you can see the this line over here so i'm gonna leave it like that you can see these are a really simple and clean backgrounds you can do it in just a few seconds if this was helpful for you consider leaving a like and subscribe join animation essentials in the link in the description and become a confident animator Later.